Good evening and welcome to the Chiba Marine Stadium ahead of this potentially decisive game in the Pacific League Championship Series between the Marines and the Nippon Ham Fighters. Now the Marines held the advantage after victory in Game 1, so let's go catch up on Game 2 and see how the Ham Fighters could respond. Sato led us off in centre field, Tomo Hayashi batted second at third, it was Nerman Panic in left field batting third, Kiyomiya cleaned up at first base, Yamazaki batted uh, five, he was in right field, it was Hector Lee on the shortstop at six, it was Kondo the designated hitter batting seven, Higuchi coming in to play second base and bat eight, Cobra Kai the catcher batted nine, it was Yusuke Kekuchi on the mound. One out, runners at the corners and Kiyomiya hits into a double play. One out, two on, and it's a two RBI double for the Marines. One on, one out, and Kondo hits an RBI double, scoring Yamazaki. One on, one out, then Higuchi with the RBI single to score Kondo. One on, two out, and it's a three-run blast for the Marines. One on, two out, and Kondo with another RBI double, scoring Kiyomiya. One on, two out, and a wild pitch scores Hector Leon. Two on, two out, and Sato with an RBI single, scoring Kondo. None on, none out, and it's a solo blast for the Marines. One on, two out, and Aguchi's wild pitch scores one. Two out, one on, and Kiyomiya with an error that costs a valuable run. Two out, none on, and Kiyomiya ends a horrible night with a strikeout. So it's the Marines looking to complete a sweep of the series here tonight, but the question is, can the Ham Fighters stop them? Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villain, and welcome to Game 3 of the Pacific League Championship Series, and we have to win today, or else it is season over, and it, well, it would be so disappointing to be swept, wouldn't it? If, if we're going to lose, we're going to lose, but you want to at least make a fight of it. Uh, and today we have to make a fight of it, basically, or we are going to be done. Uh, if we go and have a quick look at the recap of that Game 2, uh, honestly, it was... A really frustrating game. They scored eight runs off eight hits. We did our very best to lose it, and, and we did. We kept finding ways to give them runs. Uh, we out hit them 12 to 8, uh, which is obviously very, very frustrating. Uh, Kiyomiya was an absolute disaster. Hit into two double plays with the arrow as well, which cost us a run. He was uh, shocking. And Kikuchi, I don't know what to do with him. He's, he's our top paid player, or certainly one of them, uh, and we've got another three years left on this deal. We've got to try and get him out of this club, I think, because he's just, he's not the pitcher that, he's Leaky Fawcett again, basically. We've, we've gone back to uh, the the, uh, the Mariners series, and we've got Leaky, Leaky Fawcett back on the mound, so we need to get him out of this club and use that money better elsewhere. Um so yeah, that's basically where we're at. We are, we are fighting for our lives here, and we need to make sure we win today. Now, of course, the good news, uh, if we just quickly go back, we can have a look here, is that we're going to have Arihara on the mound for us today. Now, we saw uh, in the uh, in the wildcard series what he can do. He's an absolute star, so that we should have an advantage uh, in the pitching side of things. This is where, hopefully, um, the two starting rotations, we have our one and two guy going now. They should have their three and four, so that should start and swing back our way. If we can keep scoring runs with the bat... Um, then it, the series should stay alive for us, but we've certainly uh, made it very, very hard work on ourselves. Um, the one, the one new man that we've seen come in, and he came in for the last game, is Higuchi. Basically, we needed somebody to play second base. Uh, Hosokawa wasn't really hitting. Uh, this guy's a little bit better defensively. He's played Double A all season, uh, but he came in last time, got two for four, and did a, you know, didn't do anything wrong at second base either. So. Um, yeah, that's the, the new name in the lineup. But uh, let's go and check these lineups anyway ahead of this uh, well must-win game for our ham fighters. 
And this is it. Now, it's effectively the same lineup that went in game two. I'm hoping um, that, you know, we'll keep hitting and uh, and we'll, we'll have a better pitch on the mound. So Sato is going to lead us off at center field. It is Hayashi at third base, batting second. Panic in left field, bats third. Kiyomiya, we need him to start going for us. He bats clean up at first base. Yamazaki in right field, bats five. It's Hector Leon, the shortstop, batting six. Kondo continues with designated hitter. He bats seven. It's Higuchi, the second baseman, batting eight. Cobra Kai, the catcher, bats nine. As I said before, it's Arihara on the mound for us today. He has been a star all season long. We're up against for them... Uh, Tenagichi, I'm not quite sure how you say that. His ERA this regular season was 325. Uh, his whip was 115. He had a war, uh, sorry, a war of 1.3, an ERA plus of 120. He is a good pitcher, isn't he? But we should have the advantage on the mound. Let's see if that translates into a victory. And hopefully it does, because I'm not ready for this season to end just yet. So, so it's going to be Sato to lead us off. Um, one and two is going to be the count when we get going here. Um... Yeah, it's uh, it was so frustrating that the game two. It really, really was. Uh, and every time we got level with them, you know, we found a way. Sato's got a ball down the first base line. He's going to beat it out, is he? Yes, he is. Sato's quick, and he manages to get himself a leadoff single. So we'll have that now. Is that our Sato? We've had to take out the game. That must be our Sato. So Hosokawa. Well, that's not really. That's gone from high, high to low very quickly, hasn't it? So Hosokawa comes in to be the pinch runner. Now he's surely not going to play center field. Um, I'm not quite sure what will happen here. Is, uh, uh, is it panic at the plate? No, it's not. It's a double play. Oh, from the highs of a leadoff single. That's gone south very quickly. It is panic at the plate now, batting 250 in the postseason. I would imagine, as panic pops it up to win the innings, then we're going to find out. Imagine panic will go to center field. And maybe Yamazaki over to left field and Kikuchi into right. Let's see what the manager does here. Yamazaki's no, so Hosokawa's gone into left field. That's not ideal. It's Arihara to the, on the mound for us. We're up against uh, Ka uh, Kawahara at the plate, batting 200 this uh, postseason, but in a hot streak. Let's see what Arihara can do to get us underway here. It's a 1-2 pitch. Come on, mate. We need him to have one of his best games, and that's a pop-up. Panic out there in centre field should have a relatively simple catch. There it is, and that is going to be one away. Brings up Nozaki to the mound, of course, our torturer in game one, batting 429 in the postseason. It's a full count, and that should be a ground out to uh, Leon at shortstop over to first, and Kiyomiya has learnt to catch since game two. Fujiwara comes in now. He's, uh, well, it's first at, well, yeah, he's 0 for 5 in the postseason. I tell a lie, it's not his first at bat, but he's 0 for 5. Two and two's the count, and that is another ground ball to Leon over to first, and that'll do it. So early signs are Arihara is on, and he needs to be. It's Kiyomiya, only batting 133, and he's been worse than that, to be honest, because he's been getting into double plays as well, a 2-2 pitch. And he's popped that up, and that'll be caught by the second baseman, maybe the shortstop. Shortstop calls it, and he makes the play for one away. Yamazaki comes in now, batting 313. It's a 3-0 pitch. Get yourself on base here, please, Yama. He does. Draws the walk. Excellent stuff. I mean, I'm very tempted to drop Kiyomiya down the order, but we know what he can do. And we've just got to have faith that he comes good. Leon in now. He's uh, batting 357 in the postseason. Yamazaki looks to steal, and he doesn't get there. And we are finding ways to cost ourselves base runners right now. It's two out now with no one on for Leon. 2-1 pitch. Hector Leon's hit it well. Is center field going to make a play? He is. And that ends the second, and, well, again, it's got disappointing very quickly there. Nakayama comes in for them. He's batting 125 in the postseason. It's a 1-0 pitch from Arihara, and that is popped up. Kiyomi is there. I wouldn't trust him to catch a cold right now, Kiyomi, to be honest, and thankfully it is Haiguchi at second that makes the play. It brings in Yasuda now, who is batting 500 in the postseason. He hasn't faced Arihara, though. It's an 0-2 pitch. And that is a ground ball to Higuchi at second, and that will be two away. All right, it brings up Sato, who is 0 for 7 in the postseason. Let's keep the O, please, Arihara. It's a full count. Two out with no one on. Oh, and he issues the walk. Hayashi comes in now. He is uh, batting 333 in the postseason. First pitch swing. There goes the runner. Can Cobra Kai get him at second? It's a good throw, but it's a little bit late. And that is the runner at second with two away. 3-1 pitch. 
not the worst walk you can issue, but come on, Arihara. It's uh, Mori to the plate now. He's batting 375. Uh, it's another 3 1 pitch. And that should be out. Leon has it over to first, and Kiyomiya makes the play, and that ends the second. Slightly nervous moments there, thanks to some walks, but we got away with it. And it's Kondo, doesn't have a hitter coming in the bat, batting 364. It's an 0-2 pitch. Kondo, has he got it up the middle? He has, and Kondo gets himself a leadoff single. Now, it's not the first time we've got a runner at first. Look after it this time, boys. Haiguchi comes in, batting 500, but of course he only played last game. He looks to lay down a bunt. Is it a good one? They uh, go to first base. We get the runner over to second. That's one away. And it's Cobra Kai now who's batting 214 with a chance to maybe drive in a run. It's a full count on Cobra. He draws a walk. Two on with one out. Now we go back to the top of the order. It's uh, Hosokawa, of course, who hasn't batted yet and is batting 182 in the postseason. There's a reason we dropped him from the lineup. And it wasn't so he could play left field. It's a swinging bunt. And... Oh, he gets there. He gets there to load, the, he channels his inner Sato <laughs> with an infield hit, and it's Haya, uh, Hayashi now, Tomo Hayashi batting 222 with the bases loaded and one out. Anything but a double play, mate. Hayashi gets it up the middle. That's going to give us a lead. Is it going to score two? No. But it's an RBI single for Tomo Hayashi. The bases are still loaded with one away. And it's Panic now, who's batting 235. He's 0 for 1 today, a 1 2 pitch, and. He strikes out. Now it's Kiyomiya. Batting 125. 0 for 1 today with loaded bases, two out. Is this the moment he's been waiting for? It's a 1 2 pitch. Come on, Kiyomiya. No, he's an absolute muppet at the plate this postseason, and he strikes out to leave the bases loaded. We take the lead, but it could have been so much better. Belloli comes in now. He is uh, batting 167 this postseason. It's a 1 0 pitch from Arihara. That is ripped down towards third base. Tomo Hayashi has it over to first, and that's one away. And we'll go back to the top of the order now to face uh, Karahara, who is 0 for 1 today. It's another full count. We really want to keep Arihara's pitch count down here if we can. It's a slow hit ball to Leon. He has no play, and it's the first hit of the game for the Marines. Runner at first is quick. Nozaki at the plate has taunted us before. It's a, he's 0 for 1 today. And that is towards Panic. He cannot get there. And is that going to tie the game? Panic gets the throw in. It's at least a double. He's going home. And it is going to tie the game. Nozaki with an RBI double. How many RBIs is that? There's four RBIs he's got this postseason. Fujiwara comes in now. Full count on him. And he hits Arihara into right field. And is that going to score a run and give them the lead? They're coming home. And Yamazaki cannot prevent the run. And we fall behind. And Nozaki thankfully is injured. They've had to take him out of the ball game. So that serves him right. But damage is done. We're a run behind. And Arihara, who has been brilliant all year, is just, just letting us down a little bit here when we really, really, really need him most. It's another single. Runners at the corners with one away. We need a double play. We need a strikeout. This ball cannot leave the infield. It's Yasuda at the plate. It's a first pitch swing. It is popped up. And that is going to be a sack fly, isn't it? How's your arm, Yamazaki? We've seen he has a good arm before. It's a decent throw, but it's not going to get there in time. And we fall 3-1 back. Having taken the lead in the top of the inning. Sato comes in the bat for them. He walked, I think, last time up. A 1-2 pitch. That should end the innings for us, but Arihara has given up more runs in that innings than I think he has in the previous three or four outings. And it's Yamazaki to lead us off, who walked, I think, or did he get hit last time up? A 1-2 pitch. He watches strike three go past. Hector Leon, who's 0 for 1, comes in. A full count on him. And Hector Leon pops it up. Oh, we're going to live to regret leading those bases loaded, aren't we? That's two away. Kondo now, who is one for one. What can he do? He has had a really good postseason so far. Oh, it's a sharply hit ball. Shortstop knocks it down, but he can't prevent the hit. And that is another hit this postseason for Kondo. And it's Higuchi now who walked, I think. Or did he get hit last time up? It's a 2-1 pitch. Two out, one on. Higuchi rips it down the third baseline. He gets himself a double, is it? It is going to be a double. And Kondo's going to come around and try and score. And he's going to get there. It's an RBI double. Hayashi comes up big. Cuts the lead to one. And now Cobra Kai has a chance to tie us up. He walked last time up. It's a 1-2 pitch on Cobra. He strikes out. 
But we've cut the lead back to one. Now, Harry Hara, we need you to do your thing here, mate. A 1-0 pitch to there, Hayashi, the bad one. And that is popped up to left field. Can Hosokawa catch a fly ball? He can. And that is one away. Mori to the plate. He's 0 for 1 today. It's an 0-2 pitch. Come on, finish him, Harry Hara. Sit him down. There it is. A strikeout. Nicely done. First strikeout for Harry Hara. Bella Lolly comes in, who's 0 for 1 today. 2-2 two -two pitch. Two out, no one on. And Harry Hara suddenly got the taste for strikeouts. And that ends the fourth. And we are just the one run down, despite our hitting them yet again. Hosokawa comes in. He's 1 for 1 today. Come on, mate. 2-2 two -two pitch. He strikes out. And uh, Hayashi comes in. Come on, Tomo. He's 1 for 2 today with an RBI. Another 2-2 two -two pitch. And Hayashi swings through strike 3. That's 2 away for Panic, who's 0 for 2. Come on, Naram. We need you to do something for us, mate. Panic has popped it up. And that will end at the top of the fifth. We are still a run down in this must-win game. Arihara comes back out. He is getting towards the end of his outing here, though, isn't he? To face Karahara, who is one for two. It's an 0-2 pitch. Come on, Arihara. Another strikeout. That's three in a row. It is Hattori coming in in right field. Now, that's... Uh, he hasn't batted yet this postseason. That's because they took out uh, Nazaki, isn't it? He got injured last time. It's a 1-2 pitch from Arihara. He can't quite get a fourth strike out in the row. And in fact, it's going to be a one-out single. Will that do it for Arihara? It will not. He will continue to Fujiwara, who's one for two today. It's a 1-2 pitch. Come on, Arihara. It's up. Panic is just standing there. Is he frozen with panic? No, it's coming straight to him. Didn't have to move a muscle. Stuck his glove up. Eyes closed. Made the play. Two away. And that will now do it for Arihara as Yuki comes on. His ERA this postseason is 6.75. That needs to improve today. We cannot afford any more runs. It's a 1-1 one -one pitch. Two out with a runner at first. And that is well hit into the left center gap. Now, can we prevent a run? Hosokawa is there. He's an infielder. He doesn't have a good arm. And it is going to extend the lead. As soon as we can pull them back, they're extending their lead again. It's a double, RBI double for Nakayama. Yasuda comes in, who's 0 for 1. It's a 2-2 pitch from Yuki. With two out and a runner at second. And that is up the middle. It's going to be fielded there by Leon over to first. And that does end the fifth. But we are two runs down now. And again, a must-win game. They've changed their pitching now for Kiyomiya. He's 0 for 2. He's 2 for 17 this postseason. Come on, mate. Launch into one. It's an 0-1 pitch. Show us what you can do. That's pretty much what he can do in the postseason. It's gone straight up in the air, and that's one away. It brings up Yamazaki, who's 0 for 1 today. It's a 1-1 pitch for him. Yamazaki hits it well, line drive into right centre field, and that'll be a one-out single for our right fielder. Leon comes in. He's 0 for 2 today with a runner at first. It's an 0-2 pitch. Come on, Hector. I mean, at least swing the bat, mate. That's two away. And it's Kondo, who's 2 for 2. Does he have anything left in his hit tank? It's a 3-1 pitch. He draws a walk. Two on with two out. Wouldn't the home run be nice, Hayashi? No, Higuchi. Maybe I got your name right. One for one today. It's an 0-1 pitch. Hey, yeah, oh, he's hit it. It's straight to right field. And that ends the sixth. And we are still two runs down. Yuki comes in now to continue to Sato, who's 0 for 1 today. 0 for 8 in the postseason. A 1-2 pitch. He strikes out. And that's one away for their uh, Hayashi. He's 0 for 1 today. An 0-1 pitch as well. He has slapped that into left field. And Hosokawa cannot make a play. And it's going to be a one-out single for the Marines. Mori comes in now. He's 0 for 2 today. It's a full count. There goes the runner. There's the strikeout. Can we get the man at second as well? Oh, we might have got him. We did get him. Cobra Kai with a big play that ends the innings. All right. Is that a momentum shift for us? Come on, Cobra. You're on a high. Let's see what you can do, mate. 2-2 two -two pitch. And Cobra Kai grounds at the second. And there goes the momentum. <laughs> oh, one away. It's Hosokawa who's one for two today. He's only, he only gets one hit a game. He's already got that. And there's a... I mean, you can at least pretend you're going to hit it, mate. Come on. It's Hayashi coming in now. He's one for three. Come on, Tomo. We need you, mate. We need you. Hayashi, has it going to drop in? It is. And it's a two-out single for Tomo Hayashi. Now, can Panic get something going? He's four for 19 in the postseason. 
And he had a good first series, didn't he? 2-2 two -two pitch. And he strikes out. And our bats that have been so good for us all season. The, you know, I'm thinking the Panics, the Kiyomiyas. They've gone cold at just the wrong time, haven't they? It's Iguchi coming in now. It's the bottom of the seventh. It's a 1-1 pitch. Come on, Iguchi. We need a big outing from you here, mate. That is a ground ball that gets past Higuchi at second. And uh, it's a leadoff single. Kawahara comes in. He's one for three today. It's a first pitch swing. He looks to lay down a bunt. It's a good one as well. And we don't even get him at first. Two out with no one on. And Iguchi is... Uh, Got himself in a bit of a hole here. Hattori comes in. He's one for one. It's a one-two pitch. And he has... Is a double play. Is a double play. Turn it. Turn it, Leon. No, he can't. And it's one away with runners at the corners. And it goes without saying, we cannot afford to drop any more runs here. Fujiwara comes in. He's one for three today. It's a full count. Big, big pitch. This one. And that is going to score another run. It's 5-2 to the Marines. It's going to be runners at the corners again. And it's still just one out. And does anybody else get the feeling that our season is drifting away from us here? A 2-1 pitch. That could be a double play. This has to be a double play or we're going to concede another run. And it is. That could be a season saver. But we are three runs down with two innings to bat. Come on, boys. Let's dig deep here. Let's get these runs. Kiyomiya comes in to start us off. It's a 1-1 pitch. He's not going to strike out. Come on, Kiyomiya. Your team needs you. What can he do? The 1-1 pitch. Kiyomiya grounds at the second. Oh, mate. What is wrong with you? And that is one away. It brings up Yamazaki. He's one for two today. It's a 2-2 pitch for him. Yamazaki rips it into right field. There's a one-out single. All right. Can we build off the back of that? It's Hector Leon who's 0 for 3 today. It's a 1-2 pitch. Come on, Hector. He has. Has he got it in? He has. He's dropped it into center field. Are we going to get the third? No, we're not. But tying run to the plate. And it's Kondo. He has no power whatsoever. But he's 2 for 2 today with a walk. It's a 2-2 pitch. Come on, Kondo. He has popped it up. And that's going to be 2 away. And it's going to be Higuchi. The man who we've called in out of the blue. He didn't play a regular season game. Here he is. Bottom, top of the 8th, sorry. 2 on, 2 out. He represents the tying run. And he's 1 for 2 today. It's a 1-0 pitch. Higuchi grounds it out to first. And we have 3 outs left in our season. First of all though, we need to we need to make sure we're not more than 3 runs down. As Higuchi comes back out to face Yasuda. It's an 0-2 pitch. It's a ground ball to second. Higuchi has it over to first. And that will be 1 away. It's a new pitcher now as Takayashu comes in to face Sato. First outing for Takayashu of the postseason. An 0-2 pitch for him. Come on, mate. We need this. That is popped up. Yamazaki is out there. And that will be... Well, uh, two away, sorry. It's Hayashi coming in for them. He's one for two today. Come on, mate. Let's end this, please. First pitch swing. It's high. It's deep. Sato's going, not Sato, it's Panic going back right to the wall and makes the catch. Does he? No, he doesn't. Off the top, he's, he's dropped it. Oh, there was a lot of Panic out there in centre field. Mori comes in. Is that error going to cost us? The 0-1 pitch, there goes the runner. Can Cobra Kai get him? No, he cannot. And that error is just 90 feet away now from costing us a run. A 2-1 pitch. Come on, this needs to be out. It's a ground ball to Hay uh, Higuchi over to first. And it doesn't end up costing us. But we go to the top of the ninth. We need to have a big innings here, boys. We need three runs at a minimum. It's Cobra Kai to lead us off. He's 0 for 2. It's a full count. This is already a big pitch. And it's a uh, run, Cobra. It's one away. And it's the top of the order, which has been ice cold so far this game. Well, this postseason almost. It's Hosokawa who's won for three. He only ever gets one hit a game. And is that going to continue? Oh, it's a stunning catch in center field. And we're down to our final out. He's injured himself, which is doesn't really help us. And it's Hayashi. He's two for four today. Does he have something? Oh, we're down to our final strike. Hayashi. Oh, run, Tomo. And we have been swept. 
and we are done. Well, needless to say, that is, uh, that's horribly, horribly disappointing. We swept the wild card series. I think we're all high on hope for this one. Uh, and then we've gone and got swept ourselves in the next round. So that is that. And guys, that is going to actually do it for the baseball journeyman. Um, I've really, I'm, I'm still really, really enjoying it. Uh, ultimately, though, what it comes down to is that, um, it's not getting many views, I'll be honest, and also I just have a little bit too much on my plate and I do need to wind back a little bit. The reason we started the Baseball Journeyman was all the way back in the first lockdown back in March because um, there was nothing else on and yeah, I'm not quite sure if it's if it's because it was just on the weekends that it didn't quite hold the interest. Um, but yeah, and as I said, it's not because I'm not enjoying it. I do. I just need to cut something. I need to cut back a little bit, and this is the obvious one to do. So, uh, what we will do, though, I'm not going to do an end of season awards because that's just I haven't done up all the cards and the, all that kind of stuff yet. But what we will do is we will announce the winners anyway um, of who all the award winners are. So uh, we'll be back in a second. We'll be more. It'll be just be a, a quick edit point, and we'll uh, we'll announce the end of season award winners. Alright, so the Chiba Mariners, they did end up going on and winning the whole thing, so at least we can take maybe a little bit that we uh, that we went out to the eventual winners, but it still doesn't really hide the disappointment, does it? Uh, but we have, uh, we have our awards, so let's start with um, the pitcher with the most wins, and that maybe unsurprisingly went to Arihara, he had 12 wins this year, which was the most by any of our pitchers, so well done to him. Next award is, of course, the highest batting average, which went to Hayashi. Now, he got uh, a 315 batting average, which, as you could see, was the leading uh, leading uh, hit, uh, leading average, I should say, in the league. Uh, he also had most doubles, and that was a club record, and most hits as well. So he had a really, really good year. So well done to Tomo. Uh, next award is the Golden Bullseye awarded, of course, to the guy that was hit most by pitches. And this season, that went to Panic. Uh, nine times he was hit by a pitch. So well done to you, uh, Nerman. Next award is, of course, the uh, the Golden Anchor, which is most double plays hit into. And we go back to Tomo Hayashi for this one. He was good, but he wasn't perfect. So he, he hit into 20 double plays this year. So he won uh, the Golden Anchor. The next award is the Golden Boot, uh, awarded, of course, to the pitcher with the most walks. Now, Fujinami, not only did he lead the league with 109 walks, he'd also set a club record. Um, so very much living up to his control issues there. It's a, such a shame because otherwise he's a very, very decent pitcher. The next award is the Golden Glasses, which is awarded to the batter with the most strikeouts. And again, not just leading the league was Kiyomiya, but also setting a club record with 191 strikeouts. Um, yeah, that was uh, that was a bit disappointing. Next award is the Golden K for the pitcher with the most strikeouts. That goes back to Arihara, uh, 186, uh, which is uh, not a bad tally. So well done to Arihara on that one. Next, it's the Golden Broom with the uh, batter with the most RBIs. That goes to Kiyomiya, uh, 97 RBIs. Although he wasn't at his absolute best this season, he was still uh, he, you know, he was still very valuable for us. Next is uh, best ERA, and that goes to our closer, Jose uh, Quajada. I'm not quite sure how you say that name. Uh, ERA of 140, so very, very good from him. Uh, and he had 36, I think it was, saves as well. There was there, 36 saves. So he was uh, he was very, very good for us this year. Next is most home runs, and we go back to Kiyomiya. 29 home runs, very, very far off of his uh, off of his best seasons. But um, again, had a, didn't have a good season, but still, uh, he still was our man with the home runs. Now, this brings us to best pitcher. Uh, and in third spot, it was Kawano. Now, I, there is a formula I use to determine this. That's in the description. Also, all the award winners are down there. But uh, Kawano, what was his score again? It was 35.35. So he came in in third place, had a very good season for us. In second place, it was the closer, Jose, with a score of 53.57. So well done to, uh, to Jose. But the winner, and I think justifiably as well, was uh, Arihara, our starter. His score was 69.67. He was a star for us this season. It's just so unfortunate. The one game, we really needed him there at the end. Um, and he just had a uh, bit of an off day there. So that's a shame. So now it's time for best hitter, and again, there is a formula that we use to determine this, uh, and in third spot for us this season was Kiyomiya. Um, as I said, he was disappointing, I mean, the strikeouts really, really hurt his score, but he, he hits home runs, he gets RBIs, uh, so he came in third place. His score this season was 25.83. In second place, it is one of the stars this season, not just with the bat, but also defensively for us. Absolutely couldn't play left field before this season. Now look at him. Absolute wonder, wonderful, wonderful player he is. Led the league in triples as well, uh, but his score this season was 34.26. So well done to Nerman Panic. But the winner, and having an absolute 
career best season at the age of 35. It was wonderful to see Tomo Hayashi, a score of 60.8 um, and just... Well, well, just way, way above his averages here, what it was expected of him. And yeah, well, he is, I think, justifiably uh, this season's best batter. So that leaves us with just one award. That is, of course, the Golden All-Star for this season's Player of the Year. And that man, well, it came down to, I think, was it a hitter or was it a pitcher? And in the end, the Golden All-Star goes to... It's Tomo Hayashi. Absolutely fell in love with this guy this season. He was just a star. Uh, I expected nothing from him at the start of the year. Look, he batted 250 last year, 243 the season before that. Um, he was a surprise. He was a first-time All-Star as well, and now he's a first-time Golden All-Star to boot. So there we go. That does it for the Baseball Journeyman. Thank you so much for everybody who has watched. Uh, hopefully you understand and not too disappointed that it is coming to an end. Uh, I should say to a big thank you to Dutch Baseball and the Stork and everybody at the start of the series that reached out. And then when we went back to manage the Netherlands, that, was, that meant a lot. That was really cool. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back. I do want to do this again another time. Um, so we'll be back, uh, if not later, this, F this FM, this Out of the Park Baseball Cycle. Then maybe for the next one for Out of the Park 22. Uh, but yeah, as I said, thank you so much for watching. And uh, well, don't forget the Rockies are still going as well. So if you need your baseball fix, uh, that'll still be going Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Thank you and goodbye.